What's up, Patio Tanks? Uh, before I go on vacation, I decided to do a short uh, video for you guys because it's been quite a bit bef besides those shorts that I've uh, done for you guys. But um, before I go on vacation, you guys aren't going to see me for like another whole week or something, maybe uh, almost two weeks. Um, but yeah, uh, competition is coming up in NorCal. Make sure you guys be there. You guys will see this guy. You guys will see this guy, that guy. And uh, you guys will see probably two more of my specials that are coming in. I just got a lot of tons of surprise for you guys if you guys show up. If not, still show up anyways. I've got a surprise for you guys. Um, or I might not have a surprise for you. It's just come say hello for the at the competition and enjoy the show. Um, and uh, until the show starts nah i'm not gonna ruin for you guys but do please come to the show it's a great show luke and julie or 916 aquatics the whole team uh, is doing a really really fantastic job for hosting the competitions for the past uh few years or the past years that i've not been in the hobby i've only been in the hobby for not too long so you guys come out and enjoy the show with the rest of us Flowerhorn hobbyists if you guys are in sacramento if you guys are in california you guys are in the united states anywhere in the country anywhere out of country buy a plane ticket come join us it'll be fun it'll have it'll be a lot of fun let's make this experience a fun experience these guys are fantastic silver surfer mark 85 and let me update you guys a little bit on these two guys over here how they're doing i just did a water change for everyone before i go on my vacation they're doing fantastic this tank is a little cloudy but it's still fantastic he's doing such a fabulous job in here same with this guy right here he's awesome they're both really really good i would take this for about 30 minutes to an hour for the day and uh, feed them while they're grooming each other right here. Fantastic. Um, I see why they're doing 20 gallons overseas and doing that grooming while feeding too. It's, it works really well. Um, that's another technique. If you guys want to pick up or uh, learn, I picked it up from uh, watching a lot of Indonesia uh, YouTube videos, watching a lot of Indonesian clips on Facebook, Instagram. Um, and just looking at the very small details of how they set up their tanks is 20 or 15 gallon and they would just leave a white divider or a blue divider in between and uh, get reflected from both sides just the light reflecting on the fish and uh, that's how they get very very nice videos and we may think that it's um, edit but in my opinion I don't know I'm not them but um, I've tried it both ways where I put pl two blue lights on both sides or two blue sheets on both sides and it reflects greatly their color comes out popping nice white does do a, a little disservice of showing more um uh pale because it's white um it doesn't contrast the blue doesn't the blue does a good job of contrasting the red the yellow and uh the pearls as well but white takes away um kind of doles it out but it still does a good job of showing their true colors yeah, but um, just a little update before I, I'm not going to be posting up for like another two weeks or so. These are how these guys are doing. And um, one thing that uh, is just, just uh, is Garen. So Garen was in, was in this tank. And you guys see that heater all the way over there? So as you guys... Remember in my previous videos, it's in the middle right there on the back of this tank. And um, Garen decided to think he could whoop the heater's butt. Oh, that one. Wait. Oh, that heater is underwater. But he got beat up by the heater because his coke is big. He is hard for him to hit the heater. 
uh, for his mouth to hit the heater. So he went all around just destroying his coke and fins trying to hurt that heater. I'm just like, dude, what for, man? You're gonna be our breeder. Let's, he's still breathing, his gills are still going. You guys can see. Damn it, won't oh, focus. Let's go up here. Nope, but his gills are going, his fins are still flapping. Um, I put some Melafix, some salt in there. Let's see how it goes. I lowered the water pressure, or the water, um, volume so there won't be that much pressure you know if the higher the water the more pressure it is you don't want to put a lot of stress on the fish um this this all of my tanks do angle a little bit so i put them over here where there's just a lot less water less pressure just covers right on his coke so um I cr cross fingers he makes it tomorrow because my flight is at one in the afternoon and I'm gonna have to leave two hours early to check in and everything. So, if you guys watch this video, I'm probably back home already, but I won't be uploading for a few, for a couple of days because due to uh, competition, I'm gonna be doing massive grooming. Um, I'll, I'll probably do uh, one or two videos in between just to update you guys on how the fish are doing for competition uh, or how the fish aren't doing and i got a va a female here to breed with garen it's kind of pointless because garen decided to bust a suicide mission on himself this female just makes me feel like i'm not a good breeder I've I, I've successfully bred once only, and that was with my KML and her sister way, way in the beginning of my hobby. Um, way in the beginning of my, the start of my hobby. So um, I've successfully bred, bred that once only, um, but with her, I've failed miserably. Um, with the parent, I've tried it once, but I think my males were too young or they were um, stunt, so they couldn't fertile. Like uh, King, if you guys remember King, he was in hot water, he was in cold water, he was in natural disaster, he was in a blackout, all these things, so it, I think it affected his fertility rate. Um, but she still is laying eggs. Uh, I bought this VA female, I guess I'm gonna have to still keep trying to breed. I have another project that I have a project that I really want to do and hopefully I could achieve something close to overseas of how they do their F1 or F.05 um, and then after that continue on to F2 and uh, hopefully maintain that F2 style because as you guys know I really really like all of my F2s right here and uh, hopefully that male is big he's around 7 inches so hopefully um he gets big enough i've seen people from overseas bred confas yif2 confas and it works so um i'm gonna keep him to see to test with this parrot this parrot is a egg laying parrot female right here uh, i'm gonna just leave them together and uh let the magic work oh almost dropped my phone right there but um yeah, these are my competition fish right here. You know, it might not be your idealistic competition fish, but it's mine. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there on. This guy is small, he might go to Juvie. That guy right there might go to medium, I mean, not medium. Um, they got medium overseas, but he might be a small KK and another small KK and um, yeah, man, I might even, you know, I might even just throw that dude in there just for fun, you know, just just to make the, the competition uh, more interesting, I would have, I would say, but um, we're going to have to see when I come back or, um, well, I still have about a week left um, or two weeks, I would say I can enter them and try to groom them as fast as I can, but it's, um, 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard long uh sh a very short and hard process so uh, when i get back i'm gonna have to make my best judgment to see which fish is the best and um i'll compete him but most likely this dude might be showing up um he's he's looking very very um you know cool very very nice fish right here so uh yeah that is it for patio tanks um i'll see you in the next video thank you remember to like comment and subscribe patio tanks we is out